Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, and once again, it's been a month since I've uploaded a video. I don't know when or even if I'm ever going to be able to keep a consistent uploading schedule, because it's been so rough living in the basement of my mom's house. I'm still fucking up on trying to move out, and I'm still getting into disputes with my parents. It's not as aggressive as before, but knowing my situation, that's always subject to change. You know, I'm 18 now, so anything that gets me arrested puts me in a real jail cell with or around people who are far more dangerous than me, and the the charges stays on my record for a good portion of my life, which would then impact my chances of taking care of myself like it isn't hard enough already, especially if it's a domestic felony. In today's video, I'm going to be briefly catching up on how my life has been ever since my dad gave me that truck, talking about depression, how real it is, and essentially my plan from here on out. I was going to make a bunch of videos that would lead up to where I'm at, but obviously I've been absent for the majority of this last summer. Before we get into this video, please make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you're new to my content and don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. Share this video to anybody that has ever dealt with depression. Let's play Depression is Real. That just so happens to stumble upon this video and not know exactly what depression is or what it means, allow me to explain. Depression is pretty much considered a mental health disorder that's demonstrated by a person with the persistence of feeling sad or whenever they show loss of interest in something that would affect their daily lives for the worse. A whole lot of things can cause someone to have depression, physical abuse, mental abuse, the death of a friend or family member, life or death situations, etc. Depression can also affect the way somebody sleeps, eat, their daily behavior, and self-esteem. I'm not even surprised that a lot of other people in the world are battling through this, not to mention the countless other mental disorders and other situations going on. Man, the world is one shitty place to live. If you watch the news nowadays, it's either about the stupid presidential election campaign or people actually suffering from third world problems. There's really no getting out of it besides attempting suicide, but I mean, hey, your life has to be pretty fucking bad in order for you to even consider the fact that attempting suicide might be any better than how life's going for you, right? So I had a conversation with my nigga the other day, and from his perspective, he figured that I probably have severe depression. You know, he's been my friend for over six years now, and he has a pretty good idea on how things have been going inside my house for a while. I really took what he said along with everything else that's happened in my life into consideration, though, because nowadays, whenever I try and relax on a good day, I feel like there's just something causing me to have these excessive fucking mood swings and have these consistent deep thoughts out of nowhere. It's been a real strain on my mental, and a lot of times, I either don't have anyone to talk to about these things, despite the fact that uh, a lot of my friends say otherwise, or I'm around people and I simply just don't want to bring up that vibe for everyone else. I've been pretty humble about my shit for a long time, just trying to mind my own business and get somewhere in life, but as I can see, everything that I've done in an attempt to improve my life is exactly what led me to suffer in my room with nothing to do, whether if it's my fault or not. They say everything you do though is what makes you who you are, but man, depression is one hard disorder to not. Back in May when I made that eight and seven days video i was essentially updating and comparing my life to how it was last year after i made that video i got a truck a job a girlfriend i was smoking a lot of weed going to friends houses and talking about certain things with them and just having a good process of living life besides living with my parents and getting domestic threats of course but if i had to compare my life now to when i just turned 18 i'd say that i fell off pretty fucking hard a lot of shit has happened in the past five months i've also been shy to mention it on here considering that these would make some pretty good video ideas, but honestly, I always take forever to put them out there. Over the course of trying to move out of my parents' basement, I lost my manual labor job, dealing with asphalt after a month of working there. The truck I had broke down. I had to bring it back to my dad in the shit condition that it was in. Sketchiest drive ever. My dad told me that he was going to fix it last month, but I wouldn't be surprised if I never saw it again. I already disappointed him by pissing off his friend with that manual labor job. I put a thousand dollar down payment on my mom's old car just for her to never trust me with the car or money again after I got it stolen from me when I was door dashing. I lost another job and access to door dashing by a lot. I had to have a friend be generous enough to pay to keep my license because I was down so bad after everything that I couldn't even afford the citation and that I was literally about to lose my driver's license. It's funny too because she randomly mentioned a couple months later that she wanted her money back but the likelihood of me being able to do that shit is pretty bad unless I spent the rest of the year without 
without a cell phone. My girlfriend got a job and school season came around, so I can't even spend nearly as much time seeing her, let alone being able to talk to her. That pretty much applies to all of my close friends. Everybody's growing up and has to work for themselves or they're as good as roadkill. It's pretty fucking sad. My phone's battery capacity died on me a month after the screen got shattered. That phone won't turn on again, regardless if you try to charge it. I had another phone loaned to me for less than a week before half the screen broke too, so I've been chilling at home without much for over a month. I haven't had a phone in three weeks, which means I can't really apply for a job without them calling back a number that doesn't exist. I basically just been living like a bum just like I did six months ago before my dad gave me the truck, walking to nearby stores to look for cigarette shorts and ashtrays to smoke, and bumming around looking for something to do. Except this time, I'm an adult now and I don't have a phone. I have an old ass iPad mini that I got from my mom's Black Friday shopping six years ago. It's so old and broken you can't download any apps on it or use half of them that are already on it due to it being so old and outdated. I can't even connect to Wi-Fi on it unless the screen is on, so it definitely is a lot harder to keep in touch with people. I quite literally wasted four months trying to move out and actually downgraded in life. I even went through a job in like a week because I went for a four hour walk trying to convince myself that suicide isn't worth it. Coping mechanisms like smoking weed, talking to people, and driving isn't always there for me, if at all. I can't afford a car, I can't afford to smoke weed nearly as often, I can barely afford the food that goes into my stomach, and people everybody's growing up and getting busy. It's funny too because I could die right now and motherfuckers wouldn't even realize what was wrong until they see it on the news or that I haven't responded to them in like a week or some shit. My friend who I had the conversation with about depression recommended me to seek a psychiatrist, therapist, or just move into a homeless shelter if the conditions at home are really that bad. I thought about it for a day but then I thought about it again a lot quicker and I realized that these options probably wouldn't work out for me very well. First of all, this won't even be the first time that I had a therapy session that didn't work out well because the therapist wouldn't tell me how to fix my situation. They would only tell me to cope with it and me being 12 years old at the time with a grandmother who got way more leverage than me in terms of getting into family disputes, I got these soft-hearted little comments that were supposed to reconsider the relationship with my family over and over again. I don't really want to have to deal with any of that shit again along with the fact that I don't want to cope with my parents threatening me, I don't want to cope with getting shit stolen from me, I don't want to cope with getting kicked out of the house over some bullshit, not having shit. I want answers. I want solutions. I want a laid back job. I want a car with the ability of making a quick buck through DoorDash. I want to move out to an apartment with my girlfriend without having to risk dying from homelessness. I want to grow up and have kids. I want to know why my parents keep acting the way they do or if they even feel any sympathy for anything post-traumatic that they've ever put me through. <sighs> Dude, you don't, y'all don't even know the half. Second of all, I'm only getting one check and I'm supposed to use it for a phone with cellular service. I don't want to pay money just for some stranger to tell me what's wrong with me here how to cope with every bad thing that's going on without even telling me how I can change any of it. I'm also planning on supplying myself with groceries because there's little to no food at home and I'm literally starving during the making of this video. Third of all, living in a homeless shelter alone would change my life. Let's say if I move into this homeless shelter after I get a phone and everything, right? I have to wear a mask 24-7, I have to go outside in the freezing cold every time I want to smoke or hang out with a friend, and yes, it's already freezing cold, we're supposed to get two to five inches of fucking snow to Today. Crazy, right? People who tend to go to homeless shelters usually have a jail history and get released without any context of their family, so they're already battling through mind-boggling disorders. They have rules for everything, like everything. They tell you when to get out of bed, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and when it's bedtime. It's quite literally like a fucking rehab center, except they don't feed you medicine. I've been to a rehab center before, and let me tell you, bro, that shit is just as traumatizing as living in a mentally abusive family, if not more. Considering it's all strangers too. At home, yes, I get domestic threats, I get my room raided and all that bullshit, but they don't care if I disappeared for a month and came back. Nine times out of ten, I get away with smoking weed and cigarettes in my room now. I don't have a bedtime. I haven't really had a bedtime since before coronavirus made everyone do online school, which was like seven or eight months ago. And the best part is I can do essentially whatever I want. Uh, let me rephrase that actually. 
with money, I can do whatever I want. The world isn't a fair place, and I honestly don't even blame anyone who has killed themselves in the past due to their lives being so stressful and out of hand's reach. Although I do think it's not worth it, but I'm not finna point fingers, man. You do you. I think this is where I'm gonna put a fork in it. Honestly, all I have left to say is depression is real, mental disorders are real, autism is real, and if you know anyone that deals with these kind of things, I check up on that person as many times as you can. Don't let your daily life and the fear of living in poverty carry you away from your friends because there's really people out here killing themselves and befriending people simply because they feel like they're never actually going to get the help they want. Shit, even if they are doing it right, just always check up on them. Thank y'all for watching this video, I really appreciate your time. If you like this video, please give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new to my content. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. Share this video to anyone that's suffering from depression, and I'll see y'all in the next video, whenever that is. Peace out, sauce.